Hello there, I am Michael Giblin with FiddlerShop.com and welcome back to Michael Explains It All, the Tomastic Infeld Alpha Ua edition. <laughs> Alpha Ua. It kind of just makes me sound like a surfer dude, valley girl. Uh, what's it called? Oh, it's Alpha Ua. Ua. Very excited to tell you about these new Alpha U strings. Apparently, Tomastic says you can just pronounce them Alpha U. Alpha U, um, which just makes no sense. Just spell it Alpha U, like Alpha U. Alpha me, Alpha U. Anyways, these are a very nice set of strings. Uh, they're very budget friendly. They're you know, designed for the beginner player. They give you a nice, big, open, kind of clean, clear sound. On the bright side, what I'm going to do is play them for you and then compare them with some of the other sort of budget entry level strings because these aren't brought to you by Tomastic, the same people that brought us Dominance. And years ago, Dominance were the entry level just reference basic string. And then they tripled in price and tried to become all exclusive. And guess what? It's a dynamic landscape and there are lots of other entry-level budget-friendly strings like Didario's Prelude or Ascente or our own in-house Fiddler Man strings. So I've got a big uh, shootout coming up. If you use the chapter system below, you can skip ahead and skip all my rambling, but I I'll miss you and I'll know that you're not one. No, I won't know that you're not one. Anyways, I'll play, play them for you, hear what they sound like. I am using my same Fiddler Man artist violin and the whole thing two-star bow. I just got a little bored and we have these fancy pants tail pieces from Frisch that I thought I'd try out. I don't know, I didn't know what chin rest to use on it. It's not everybody's cup of tea, um, but it's not gonna affect the sound that much. <laughs> Okay, let's pull over the string grading graph wheel of tone, colors, and possibilities. Um, projection, these are pretty pretty loud. I didn't put them all the way because they're just a synthetic core string. Um, while I'm here, I might as well talk about the E is a tin plated E, steel E, it's not wound, it's just a regular steel. Um, and then we've got aluminum A and D and silver G, but and these are all a synthetic core. So a lot of budget strings are just solid steel core um, so, and they probably have more projection. These are a good projection. They still play easily. You don't have to work super hard to get them to play. Uh, so they're very nice. Uh, color, I think they're leaning on the bright side, which is a nice quality for beginning instruments. Again, temperature is pretty similar. It just has a slightly just cooler feel. It's not, it's not super, it doesn't, um, uh, again, it's don't read into these too much. And then getting into depth, this is something where I was expecting a little more, to be to be honest. 
Um, they just, it feels a little thin. It just feels like someone turned the lows on your EQ system just down and it's like, hey, where, where is, where is it? It's, it's nice. They have a nice, it has a nice like body to the sound. It just, it's still just, just, um, I mean, I mean what do you want from a $20 string set? I'm talking to myself, not to you. Don't, don't be offended. I, I, I'm not offended at myself. Anyways, uh, response. Yeah, nice. They're, they're, they're there. There's nothing to worry about. These, um, plenty quick enough. Um, and then clarity. Um, I do put them as clear. Sometimes this is related also to focus that I do find that the sound is very, uh, very direct, clear. These are sort of similar. I know I could have. It's a nice balance, and it's not—it's um, not the most like piercing soloistic sound. It has a little bit, so that's why I put them kind of around eight or so. Uh, the kind of the middle of this chart. That it's a nice, nice clarity. It's a nice balance. That I think again, that synthetic core has a little bit of the warmth that I I enjoy. I, I normally play synthetic core strings, so there's that familiarity. Oh, I can't even say that word that you'll find with these strings. But as I alluded to earlier, there are lots of other strings sort of in this entry level budget price range that are all competing and throwing elbows to get your hard earned dollars. So here is a little comparison of some of those other strings. Enjoy. What'd you think? Pretty good strings, I think. Uh, and did this video clock in under 20 minutes? I won't know until I've finished editing it all together. But thanks so much for checking out the Fiddler Shop and this review about the Alpha U. Alpha U. <laughs> I'll just keep it simple. Strings. And let me know, of course, in the comments if you use these, if you tried these. Uh, if they were a terrible letdown and you went to something else, let me know. Those, all that stuff is helpful. And um, if you'd like to learn more or how to pick up a set of Alpha U strings for yourself, just click on the links that are up here at the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching this, and we'll see you at fiddlershop.com. Yeah. I hope that was informative and helpful. Yeah, if you want to buy this product, just click right up here. Right there. Do it. There, we do would it. also love it if you subscribe to our channel so we can keep in touch. It's right over there. And if you want to learn more about us, click right here. Bye, 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 b